Well, happy Wednesday coming Community Church. Pastor Thomas here with our midweek devotional. Hope you're having a great week. Beautiful morning outside on this September the 15th. Hope that uh, you are doing well. Um, Don't forget about prayer meeting today, but that's the only announcement I'm going to give. We're going to dive in. One of the things I've been working on is how can we as Christians and as members of this church, how can we succinctly tell the story of the Bible in just a few uh, phrases or just a few short chapters of the Bible? And in working on it a little bit even more yet this morning, I've come down to six. And that's what we're going to talk about the next several weeks during our midweek devotional. Good chance that this is going to show up later as well as I kind of flesh this out more uh, in, in our discipleship groups as well. Because I think having the ability to describe the Bible as a whole with uh, just a few chapters um is a powerful tool because let's be honest um you know you take a look at that nobody wants to read a book that thick right so people are going to get intimidated when you say you should read the bible but if you can say let's start by reading um six chapters of that whole book and i think you'll get the whole gist of the book so that's what we're going to talk about over the next few weeks as i kind of formulate this as a, a means to introduce the bible and thus introduce Jesus to people so that they can have a loving, long-term relationship, an eternal one with him. So the first idea in the Bible, of course, is in Genesis, right? We we see um, the very beginning. Genesis 1, chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Just in those first five words, right? In the beginning, well, really, in the beginning, God. We see there that God is eternal. He is ever existing. There's never been a time when God did not exist. When things began, God. God was there. And so we then see that God created. In the beginning, God created He created the heavens and the earth. And the rest of Genesis 1 goes on to describe everything that God created, including humanity. And that's where I want us to focus in on today. We're going to pick up the narrative in verse 24 of Genesis 1. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds and the livestock according to their kinds and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our own likeness. And then let And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock over and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. He created them. And he and God blessed them. And he said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. Verse 31, this is key. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Let me pray and we'll talk some more about that. Almighty God, thank you for your word. Thank you for uh, the clarity that it gives. Would you help us to understand it so that we may use it to reach others for your glory and your kingdom? In Christ's name, amen. So here's the thing. We see that God created. He created everything. Now, that kind of flies in the face of what a lot of people in culture say today, but this is what the Bible says. And I always tell folks, it's what the Bible says. You can agree or disagree. I'm not going to force that on you, but you need to know what the Bible says. And the Bible says that God created everything. And here's the key. 
it was good. Things had life. And it was good. So if there's one thing that we need to know, the very first thing we need to know that the Bible says is that God created life. And that's an incredibly profound starting point. If, if people started with that assumption and we went forward from there, how incredible would it be then for them to understand more about what the Bible says? God created life and it was very good. Now, over the next several weeks, we're going to talk more about how uh, death entered into the scene because we know that while there is life, there is also death. Where did that come from? And then how does God plan to deal with death? And how did that plan come to fruition? And is there anything, be, what's the ultimate end goal of God's plan? That's what we're going to talk about over the next several weeks. But for today, step one on this kind of six-part idea of reading the six chapters that would get people to know the whole story of the Bible. Chapter one is the very first one, Genesis one. Understanding that God was in the beginning. He is eternal. He made everything and it was good. Life created by God is good. Well, I hope that you're having a great Wednesday. We're going to just stop it there short and sweet this week. Have a great rest of your week coming church and anyone else who happens to watch this. Uh, we will see you Sunday as we wrap up our series on lament. Don't miss that. We'll see you then. God bless.